Have you ever wanted to root your Android emulator? Well, I'm gonna show you how you can root an Android Studio emulator, which I showed you how to install in an earlier video, and using Magisk, which is the same technique that is typically used for rooting most physical Android devices. Like I showed you in an earlier video, I have this Android Studio emulator, and if I drop into a shell using ADB, you can see that this has a dollar sign prompt, which means that it is not currently rooted. And if I try to elevate my privileges using SU, then I get permission denied. But there is a tool that you can download for free from GitLab called Root AVD. This script is specifically designed to work with Android Studio emulators, and it also uses Magisk, which means that all those tutorials and resources and things out there on the internet about Magisk, those will also apply to this rooted device. So to get started, all we're going to do is click right here to download this Root AVD, and that's going to give us this Root AVD master.zip file. And I'm just going to right click that and extract all. And now I have this Root AVD master directory. And I'm going to go back to my command prompt window, which should open in your user directory. And I'm just going to CD into my downloads and then that root ABD master directory. And then again, one more directory called root ABD master. Once I'm in that directory, I'm just going to run DIR. And now we see these files in here and we see this one called root ABD.bat. I'm on a Windows system right now, so I'm going to be using this .bat file. But if you were on Linux, then you could use the .sh instead. Now I'm just going to run root ABD.bat list all AVDs. Depending on how many different emulators you've installed on your system and how many different versions of Android you've downloaded, your output will be a little bit different. I have a few different AVDs on my system right now, but I'm going to be looking for the one that matches the version of Android that I use for this emulator over here, which was Android 31. So now I'm going to take this first root AVD command that uses that Android 31 version, and I'm going to copy that. And then once again, I'm going to run that command from the command prompt. It's going to ask me to choose magic version to install, and I'm just going to choose this local stable one which is the default and then once that script finishes it's going to shut down and reboot my emulator in my case my emulator didn't actually come back online so I'm just going to go back to the device manager from Android studio and I'm going to manually start it and now if you look at the apps on the emulator you see there's a new app called Magisk and if I run that it asks me to upgrade to full Magisk to finish the setup I'm gonna click OK after it finishes that update, now the icon is updated. And when I launch it, it says requires additional setup. So I'm gonna click okay again. And now it's going to reboot the device. And after it reboots, I can go back and try to do ADB shell to drop into a shell again. And again, you see that dollar sign prompt, which means it's not root right now. But if I try running sue, now it asks me to grant a super user request. And if I click grant, now that prompt turns into a pound sign. And if I run who am I? I am root. So now I have a rooted Android emulator, and if you want to see some of the tools that I might install on this device as a mobile application pen tester, hit the subscribe button and I'll be making some more videos about that coming up soon.